Welcome back to another video. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. Well, to something dream. is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, wow, that was pretty great. So today we're going to learn this effect. I learned this from experimenting, doing a music video, which was free in my hands. I could experiment and do any edit I want on it. With experimenting new things comes new effect. And this is a new effect that I managed to achieve within this music video. And here's how I did it. Here's what we have. I have my two clips here, as you can see. So as you can see, as it zooms in, we've got the eyes that are red. So this is the effect that we're going to be doing. Now, all, all you need is channel mixer. So if I untick that and tick it again, you can see the effect happening. And what else I did, I used opacity and a mask out the eyes. And this creates the effect. Now if I untoggle this opacity, everything becomes red. Reason being is because the mask only focuses on the subject you have keyed out. So I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to get rid of these masks. Boom, boom. I'm going to get rid of channel mixer and we're going to start from scratch. So now we have this where it just cuts in. So what we want to do is we want to duplicate where the effect is going to be, which is here. So you duplicate that clip. So now what you do if you duplicate a clip is you put the channel mixer on. So go into effects, color correction, and then go on channel mixer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the red all the way up and bring the green and blue to zero. Depending on what color you want, you can have blue or green eyes, but today we're going to do red. We're already halfway there. So now comes the difficult part, which is the masking out the eyes. So what you wanna do is, you wanna go on scale, go to around 100, make sure the clip is right at the start of the effect, click on the pen tool, and this should create a mask. So now, we just gotta start masking away on the eye to where we want the effects to happen. Now I suggest doing one eye at a time, obviously, because it makes more sense. Um, and when you're doing it, do it frame by frame. So when I toggle forward now on frame, as you can see, it's moved a tad bit. If you've got the updated version of Premiere Pro, you can use the mask path. It isn't always correct, but you could try it and then work on it once it's done. So I'm going to do that now. So for me, it seems like it's done a pretty decent job. But if you do have an older version of Premiere Pro and you want to key frame by frame, I've done another example of keying on one of my previous videos, so please check that out and understand how an effect can be made frame by frame. It is time consuming, but if you want the effect to happen and you want the videos to be the best it can be, then video editing is all about patience, so you've got to learn how to be patient. It's missed out one more frame here, so I'm just going to make sure it doesn't affect it. I'm going to go into fit and just make sure it doesn't look out of place. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I would feather it, make sure it's feathered to around 25 to 30, so it looks a bit more smooth and blends in properly with the video. So what we're going to do now, we're going to mask the other eye that's not got the effect on. So again, zoom in to 100, get the right position in the eye, click on the pen tool again, and this time you're going to see it all red. This is because you haven't keyed anything out yet, so you're going to see it fully red. But once you start your key, it will focus on what you've keyed in. Let's start away. There we go, we've got that done. But what I forgot to do this time is I forgot to bring this back to the first frame so it may be out of sync. Yep, which it is. So I'm gonna bring it back to how I want it to be and just amend it a little bit. I'm just showing you this guys because mistakes do happen and if it does happen then I'm showing you how to just resolve it. So now I'm gonna again toggle this and mask the path. And there we have it, it's as easy as that. Now let me go back onto the fit. Make sure the feather is back up to 25. Click off the effect and see how it plays. I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see, this right side is not as good as the left side, purely because it's a bit rushed. But if you want to perfect it, again, zoom in and correct it if needs be. So there we have it guys. That's the video done, dusted. It's a pretty simple effect, but it's very effective when it comes to editing. It makes your video look 10 times better with these tiny little effects. Like I said, it's all done in Premiere Pro. Most of my effects are going to be done in Premiere Pro. I don't want to shy away from it. A lot of people can't afford the whole program, which is After Effects, Lightroom, etc. So I'm mainly focusing on Premiere Pro, but I'm showing you how to use it effectively 
and create these effects without After Effects because it's not needed and I'm proving that point. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for all updates, for new stuff, uh, dance videos, etc. A lot of different things on my Instagram. Make sure you subscribe if you like this video. I just realise I'm talking really fast. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where anything can happen so stay tuned. Today we're going to talk about the top six tips for editing vlogs. Yes, vlogs. Vlogs are the most